Hi everyone, so hopefully you've enjoyed listening to chapter one and chapter two of Kenzuki's Kingdom so far. Now today's chapter is really interesting because it's part of the ship's log um, that he has written as he's going around the world. So on the first page I'll just show you the picture at the front there. Um, so there's lots of extracts with lots of different dates, so I'm going to get started. So the first extract comes from September the 20th. It's five in the morning, I'm on watch in the cockpit and no one else is awake. We left Southampton 10 days ago now. The channel was full of tankers. There were dozens of them up and down. So either mum or dad took turns on watch for the first two nights. They wouldn't let me. I don't know why not. There wasn't any fog and I can see as well as they can. We were planning on sailing about 200 miles a day. That's about eight knots. But in the first week, we were lucky if we made 50 miles a day. Barnacle Bill warned us about the Bay of Biscay, so we were expecting it to be bad, and it was. Force 9 gale, force 10 sometimes. We were slammed about all over the place. I thought we'd sink. I really did. Once we came up on top of a wave, I saw, a ba saw the bow of Peggy Sue pointing straight up at the moon. It was like it was going to take off. Then we were hurled down on the other side so fast I was sure we were going to hit the bottom. It was bad. I mean, it was horrible, really horrible, but the Peggy Sue didn't fall apart and we made it to Spain. Mum gets quite snappy with us sometimes when we don't do things right. Dad doesn't seem to mind, not out here, not at sea. He just winks at me and we get on with it. They play a lot of chess together when it's calm enough. Dad's winning so far, five games to three. Mum says she's not bothered, but she is, I can tell. We only spent a couple of days in La Corona. Mum slept a lot. She was really tired. Dad did some work on the rudder cable while we were there. He's still not happy with it though. We set off on the Azores two days ago. Yesterday was the best day we'd had for sailing. Strong breeze, blue sky and warm sun to dry things out. My blue shorts were blowing on the washing line into the sea. It doesn't matter. I never liked them much anyway. We saw gannets slicing into the sea all around us this afternoon. Really excellent. Stella Artois went mad. I'm fed up with baked beans already and there's still stacks of them down below. October the 11th. Today I saw Africa. It was in the distance but mum said it was definitely Africa. We're going down to the west coast mum showed me on the chart. And there's the map. Go. The wind will take us down the coast for a few hundred miles, then across to the Atlantic to South America. We mustn't drift off course, else we'll get into the doldrums. There's no wind there at all, and we'll just cold, ju just could sit there, becalmed for weeks, forever maybe. It's his hottest day we've had. Dad's very red in the face, and the tops of his ears are peeling. I'm more of a nutty brown, like Mum. Saw flying fish early this morning and so did Stella. Then mum spotted a shark off the port bow. A basking shark, she thought. I got the binoculars out but I never saw it. She said I had to write it down in my notebook anyway and then draw it. I looked them up, they're massive but they don't eat people, just fish and plankton. I like doing my drawings. My best one so far is my flying fish. And there's the pictures of his drawings. I sent a card to Eddie from the Cape Town Verde Island, Cape Verde Islands. I wish he could be here. We'd have a real laugh. Stella loves to chase the football around the cabin and then pounce on it. She'll puncture it one day. I know she will. Dad's been a bit gloomy and Mum's gone to lie down, but she's got a headache. I think they've had a bit of a tiff. Don't know what about exactly, but I think it's about chess. November 16th. We've just left Recife. That's in Brazil. We were there for four days. We had a lot of repairs to do on the boat. Something was wrong with the wind generator and the rudder cables still sticking. I've played football in Brazil. Did you hear that, Eddie? I've played football in Brazil. And with your lucky football, Dad and me, we were just having a kickabout on the beach. And before we knew it, we had a dozen kids joining in. It was a proper game. Dad set it up. We picked sides. I called my side Mudlarks and he called his Brazil. So they all wanted to play on his side, of course. But mum joined in on my side and we won. Mudlarks five, Brazil three. Mum invited them back 
threw her coke on board afterwards. Stella growled at them and bared her teeth, so we had to shut her down in the cabin. They tried out their English on us. They only knew two words, goal and Manchester United. That's three, I suppose. Mum had the films developed. There's only one with some leaping dolphins, another of me at the winch, mum at the wheel, another of dad hauling down the mainsail and making a right mess of it. There's one of me diving off a rock into the sea when we stopped in the Canaries. There's one of dad fast asleep and sunbathing on the deck and mum giggling. She's about to dribble the sun cream all over his tummy. I took that one, my best photo. Then there's one of me doing my maths sulking and sticking out my tongue. December 25th, Christmas Day. Dad found some carols on the radio. We had crackers, all of them a bit soggy, so none of them cracked. And we had the Christmas pudding Gran made for us. I gave them a drawing each, my flying fish for Dad, and one of the skipper in her hat at the wheel for Mum. They gave me a really neat knife they'd bought in Rio, so I gave a queen back. You're supposed to do that, it's for luck. When we were in Rio, we gave the Peggy Sue a good scrub down. She was looking a bit manky inside and outside, but she's not anymore. We took on a lot of stores and water for the long haul to South Africa. Mum says we're doing fine, just so long as we keep south, at so long as we stay in the west to east South Atlantic current. We passed an island called St Helena a few days ago, no need to stop. Nothing much there except it's a place where Napoleon was exiled. He died there. Lonely place to die, so, of course, I had to do a history project on Napoleon. I had to look him up in the encyclopedia and write about him. It was quite interesting, really, but I didn't tell them that. Stella's sulking on my bunk. Maybe it's because no one gave her a Christmas present. I offered her a taste of Grand's Christmas pudding, but she hardly gave it a sniff. Can't say I blame her. I saw a sail today, another yacht. We shouted Happy Christmas and waved, and Stella barked her head off, but they were too far away. When the sail disappeared, the sea felt suddenly very empty. Mum won the chess this evening. She's ahead now, 21 games to 20. Dad said he let her win because it was Christmas. They joke about it, but they both want to win. And there's the map that you can see of their journey so far. So for the first part of their that extract what I'd like you to do is to have a look at a map of the world and think about their journey from Amer from England over to Brazil and then over to Africa and just explore where they what, what other islands they might have passed along the way